pace. So in this video, I'm gonna build about the science of fear, more so the science of having no fear. So if you're returning subscribers or you're new to the channel, do me a solid, man, and hit that like, hit that subscribe, because beyond shot over die, I'm definitely going to provide value from a physical and a mental aspect. Share this video, and again, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and let's build. So let's build. Everything we like and dislike is predicated on pleasure and pain, right? Go through your own experiences, and I'm sure that you can always mind it back to pleasure or pain, right? If you lose your job, right? So we'd be like, you know what? I don't care about this job. They can fire me. But you come to work, you there on time, you're very punctual, and you follow instructions. But you don't like the job. Why do you follow the instructions? You follow the instructions and you come on time so you can get paid, right? But you like the hell with the job. It ain't the job. It's that you need to get paid. And what are you going to do with the money? You're going to take care of your family and pay your bills. Because if you don't, that's going to bring pain, right? Remember, everything is pleasure and pain. So you're getting all fresh, right? You, you're looking good, right? You got your car, is waxed, it's clean, right? You got your cologne on, you know, bam, you're going out, just first date, whatever. You put your best foot forward and you be the super gentleman because you're trying to win, right? That's that pleasure. Everything goes back down to pleasure and pain. So what the hell does that have to do with living without fear? Because... If you can get over the fear part, fear is always associated with pain on most occasions, right? On most occasions. Sometimes you can be scared to walk up and talk to some girl or something, and that won't be pain, right? So we can go down another whole avenue with that. But for most cases, fear is associated with pain. So if you can get over the pain part, then you can just smash straight through the fear. Right now, it's not always advisable. Again, though, by week I can, I can uh, digress and go in many different areas with this, because what I just use the job scenario. If you lose your job, you can be like the hell with your job. I ain't got no fear, right? But that wouldn't be wise, right? It wouldn't be conducive to your living situation to quit your job or get fired from your job and not have another source of income. So we're not gonna go down that rabbit hole. So. If you can get over the pain part when you're in a relationship, right? And you you act a certain way because for two reasons. You act a certain way because you're really a gentleman and you really is a 50-50 and you, you reciprocate in love and so on and so forth. And the other side is that you're scared that she gonna leave you or you're scared that he gonna leave you. So that's where the pain part come in at. But what if you didn't even care though? What if you was only focused on your purpose, getting right, living right, being fair to people? What if you didn't care, right? And then you just lived without fear. And you just always knew that you put your best foot forward and that you was living righteous, as righteous as you could be, because ain't nobody perfect. And you wasn't trying to hurt nobody, you try to tear nobody down. And you just focused on your purpose and getting your shit together. That's when you can live without fear because you're not worried about what the next person gonna do, right? You don't have to live with fear. If you get to the point where you don't live with fear, you're gonna blaze trails, you're gonna move straight ahead. And it's not necessarily about living without fear, right? Because it's gonna always be that hesitation about what if, because that's how the mind works. So we're always thinking about what if, what if, what if. But you have to be able to jump. And Steve Harvey got some book, I think it's called Jump, uh, whatever, something. But my man is essentially talking about, if you in that plane or you on that ledge and you got a parachute on, jump you scared as shit but jump man you got to jump right and that's where the fear part come in at it may be a little scary you know the unknown but just go man trusting yourself trusting your abilities trusting to the wins that you already didn't have your experience is already just said like you know i'm confident I didn't blaze some trails. I didn't did some hard shit that I didn't think I was gonna get through. I didn't done some things that I didn't know how I was gonna manage through, but I still did it. So, you know, go back off your wins to go through your fears. 
and all this shit is real, man. 50 Cent and Robert Greene got a book called The 50th Law. The 50th Law is to live without fear, man. So this is a quick build, man. I'm just gonna just put you up, you know, and share some value about living without fear, right? And again, it's not about not having no fear in terms of hesitation and wondering about what if. It's about being able to do it, man. Jump anyway. You know what? Busting that door, kicking that door, do it anyway. Ask that girl for a number. It don't matter, man. You ain't living with no fear. The more times you do it, the more times that it ain't going to be like shit. It's going to become normal. Because then you're going to have a stockpile of experiences that say that this ain't nothing. I can get through it. So that's the build, man. Like, subscribe, man. Share. You know, leave a comment. As always, let me know that I'm full of shit, that I don't know what I'm talking about. Man, appreciate y'all, man. You made it to the end of this video. And you're fucking with your boy. I appreciate it, man. Let's go. Get bucked.